Untamed is really fun and very powerful in open world PvE. And here's a little bit of a build showcase. It's using skirmishing marksmanship, Untamed, using all the CC stuff. You get quickness whenever you CC, you get cooldown reduction whenever you CC, and some vulnerability. So you're doing a lot of damage with these modifiers. You've also got the potential to have Remorseless, which gives you the opening strike, which gives more vulnerability and cripple whenever you do your opening strike. And it does 25% more damage on that single hit. So you want to have single hitting abilities like Maul and any of the hammer hitting abilities. How you get Remorseless is just gaining Fury. So I have Spotter for that. You have the Weapon Swap in Skirmishing. You have the Pet Swap. And there are some abilities that will give you fury as well, like the hammer five while you're unleashed. So essentially, whenever you swap weapons, whenever you swap pets, and whenever you enter combat, you're going to get, and sometimes like uh, randomly, you'll get it from spotter or from vicious quarry if you're below 75% health. And you don't really want to time these too well because you're just going to be spamming your abilities really quickly because you have a lot of quickness. So that's kind of like the main idea of the build here. You have lots of CCs, and those are basically on your Hammer 3, your Hammer 5, your Greatsword 4, and your Greatsword 5, and your Exploding Spores here. Also, there's a little bit of a meme here with Lightning Assault, which creates a Lightning Field, and that creates a Dazing Strike. So that's another CC if you really need it to reduce your cooldowns. And reduced cooldowns makes you a lot more aggressive and a lot more defensive because you have more access to protection and barrier. You have a lot more access to your healing spring, which is condition cleanse. And you can get your elite skill back, which gives you damage reduction. So yeah, that's the main idea of the build there. It's full scholar zerker with uh, force impact on the hammer. And if you really wanted to use this build for like world versus world, you could use maybe like durability runes or pack runes or like divinity runes but this is pretty good in my opinion as is for most cases and the food i would be using is the avocado smoothies just power and ferocity you don't want to go for any more precision because you're going to have a lot of precision when you have fury because of the skirmishing is going to give you like 40 crit chance so it's like 90 there um and this is a raw I like to test a lot of my builds in a raw because it's generally going to give you a lot of different scenarios that you have to go through. So this is like the multiple mob scenario and then you've got conditions that you may need to cleanse later on and then like bosses. So there's a lot of things that you can test. So we're going to just try it out here and show how it works. So I send my pet in first and there's going to be a lot of mobs here. A block to get some CC maybe. and. Always want to use your greatsword 2 before you cc because you get a free greatsword 2 which is a main damaging skill now i'm going to cc here to also i'm going to get out my pets f3 uh, there which is going to block a lot of projectiles but my pet has died so i'm going to just leave for now watch out for those uh those exploding mines there my pet is going to be able to be respawned here even though it died and i'm going to give it some ccs from the f2 and the F3, and that's going to keep these mobs in place. And you can see I do a lot of burst damage. And uh, I do another CC with the F3 on my pet. I mean, hammer 2 does a lot of damage when they're CC'd, and so does the Hammer 4. I should probably have uh, pulled my pet to come back to me because it just died again, but I'd be fine without the pet, to be honest. You don't require the pet because it's not even a Beast Mastery build. Yeah, you can see here like the insane damage that this build does. I've also got uh, the unnatural traversal there, which will give me a port to the target. But that's mostly for like open world where you've got to like chain kill between mobs and stuff like that. But you can see here the hammer abilities. They don't do too much unless you've got the uh, remorseless there. But I mean, 9,000 is still pretty good, but you can get to like 20,000 on some abilities when you've got that Remorseless proc. But yeah, that's generally a pretty difficult encounter there to uh, survive, and the Untamed just deals with it pretty easily. Now, here's some spiders. You're going to need some Condi Cleanse for these guys, but we've got the Healing Spring down, which is going to be really nice. I'm going to do a lot of cleave here. 
And my pet's probably gonna die, yeah. You can peel for your pet a little bit more with your abilities here, but it's not necessary because, as I said, you don't rely on the pet so much. But yeah, because these are really high pressure situations, the pet can die like that. But I've got constant healing springs going on, so the, the healing and cleansing is definitely there because of that cooldown reduction. Now, next, we're going to go into these mobs here. They're elites, and they do a lot of damage, but I do way more damage than them. And their health is actually going to go down really fast. So I'm going to send my pet in here first. And we're going to let them be unleashed. They'll go in. Do that, and then I'm going to use their stun. And I'm going to go in with my port. Do a bunch of my skills. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to unleash my pet and then use the hammer 3, which is 2 CCs. And that's going to give me a lot of my cooldowns back. Now I can use my spores. And while they're CC'd there, I'm going to use the hammer 4. None of those actually crit. That's pretty bad RNG, but just swap to the greatsword there. And we've got a lot of bursts to finish that mob off. Now we've got two elites. So we're going to go in with the same idea there. Knock them down and then do my pet thing. Probably use my elite here and cleanse for my pet. I'm going to go unleash myself. And there's actually three mobs here. We're going to CC that so my pet doesn't die. That's going to go invulnerable now with the F2. And I'm going to swap it to the other one. A lot of damage going out here. Already killed one. My next healing spring. I'm going to use some leaps in the healing spring there. And use all of my burst. And I'm going to unleash my pet so that I can use the CC. Because the hammer 3 only does daze when you're not unleashed. When your pet is unleashed. So a lot of the recharge actually comes from the hammer 3 because it does two days in a row. And this skill, or this trait, has a 1-4 second internal cooldown. So you essentially have to go up to them and press the 3 when you're not unleashed. And then it'll do like a second attack if the first hits. But we're going to send in the pet here again. I'm going to do the CC here. And do a lot of damage. A lot of mobs here right now. Should be unleashed myself. I'm gonna use the probably want to swap here so my pets don't die. My pet knocks down so I can get some nice damage on them. Heal myself through that combo finisher. And we'll finish these guys off. Get a swap between the uh, unleashed and the the pets very often so it can be a little bit complicated but once you get used to the flow of it it is a really fun build now here the dead eye is extremely high uh priority target so i'm gonna send my pet in there first and get some cc on that i'll get down with the thing and then we'll do this cc it again you can see there's a lot of damage and burst on this build. Uh, so we just killed the Deadeye, so most of these are pretty easy to kill at this point. I'll use my Elite. And we'll probably want to swap pets here. Use the F3, which is a nice CC here. And my Hammer 2 does a lot more damage to CC. Card. And yeah. Those are taken out pretty easily. This is a really fun and good build right now. So now we're going to do a boss fight against uh operative belka this is actually a pretty um it's a pretty easy fight but it requires a lot of condi cleanse usually or uh projectile reflect and there's an untamed have with the f3 while the uh, pet is tamed untamed it has the projectile reflect and also i have the um the condi cleanse from my healing spring here so let me untame myself. Use the 2, the 4, and the 5. And then I'm going to use the 3 while I'm not unleashed. So essentially you want to use all the hammer abilities while you're unleashed. Except for, obviously, the, uh, the 3. And that'll recharge everything else. And then you can use all that stuff again. You can see a lot of uh, cooldowns coming back here. I'm going to do it again, actually, because a lot of my cooldowns are back. And I'm going to also use the... Uh, the five in uh, while I'm not unleashed. And yeah, I'm just gonna port right straight back to the uh, target when they port away. Use my pet to CC here, then I'm gonna 
use all of the abilities. Swap back to my hammer. Use those. I'm going to use the spores here because I'm... They usually do a little bit more damage. And my pet probably should be swapped here. Finish that CC off. Do some big damage. We'll get another burst here. My pet actually died because he's standing in that AoE. Which is not ideal. Warp to it. Cleanse. The burst. Heal myself a little bit in that uh, leap there. Finisher. Recharge my greatsword 2 again. And now here is the the part that really tests a build because there's going to be a ton of elite spiders and they just keep spawning non-stop so we'll we'll see how the build really fares and sustains so i'm going to send my pet in first knock down just keep cc'ing them so that they can't react they do a lot of damage Keep CCing them. And let's pull a little bit more. Let's grab uh, this Risen Abomination. Let's block his... Uh, oh, that's, that's dangerous. Oh, there's two now. Oh, okay. Well, my pet needs to stay on me so they don't die. I'm going to pull my pet back. Keep pulling my pet back. Alright, one abomination is down. Get some cooldowns back. Doing a lot of CC. Oh, my pet just died. Oh, there's another risen abomination here. Let's keep my pet going towards me. New build available. Okay, they're, they're doing a lot of uh, balance changes here. Need to block this. My pet's dead again. Okay, let's get out of there a little bit. My pet's on cooldown for a while here. Got my blocks though from the recharges. Let's get some uh, CC out. Some more recharge. That's gonna be up soon. There's so many spiders here though. And you can see the, the veteran abomination has 18 stacks. You gotta be careful with that. My pet's back. The A bomb is resetting. Gotta keep killing these or getting my pet out of there. That keeps dying. There's just so many mobs. Ow. That's a really long range. Got 25 stacks. Can't really take any hits from that anymore. Looking like we're gonna die here. Okay. But that's pretty much how you play the build. Obviously, it's a kind of bruiser melee playstyle for ranger that's different from the typical longbow and if you do really like the longbow i suggest you just play soul beast instead but if you do want to see the actual link to the build with all of the details on the exact things that i'm running in it you can check out the link in the description if you want to play it in other game modes as well there's going to be a link there as well for those so if you like this content like the video subscribe for more and I will see you all next time.